Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Look at what the Steelers do. It's really dumb, y'all. Girl. I know you didn't do this. Shout out to Greenback and everybody who sent this video. I saw it last week and I've been out of pocket for a couple of days, but I got some exciting news. Another video. I think I may have another money making idea, ladies, that we can do and enjoy. So I will get that video out today. That's what, what I've been doing. Um, Girl, really? You know, I often said, Dusty's don't think, neither do Dustinas. They don't think, they just do, and get caught up in a jam, and you wonder why this nonsense is happening to you. This is one of those young mammies in training. Girl, you got the PhD, the mammy degree. Penal on the line. I got to save my man. Y'all don't understand. I got to save my man. Y'all, if you haven't seen it, look at what this chick does. I, I can't. I have to appreciate the irony of this situation. The sheriff's mm -hmm. office says this young woman made this fake 911 call so that her boyfriend could avoid legal trouble. Now, they're both in it. If you look up loyal in the dictionary for better or worse you might find tressa williams mugshot 911 where's your emergency the macomb county sheriff's office says she made a fake 911 call back in september reporting a bogus armed robbery <laughs> hey free at this cvs on crocker in harrison township why you ask i take our responsibility for it she knows she's going to be good, though. Sheriff deputies had just pulled over Devin Douglas, mm -hmm. who says Williams, the mother of his son and unborn child, is his fiance. He says he told her that he was being pulled over. Douglas was stopped while driving at night without his headlights on. His driver's license was suspended, and deputies say he had an active arrest warrant for fraud. So the deputies are talking to the man, uh, getting you know, getting the traffic stop going, and then suddenly a call comes out um, for an armed robbery in progress at another business in Harrison Township just down the road. Hello. Hello, 911. I, I I'm like to play robbery. The deputies cut Douglas loose and raced to the CVS. <laughs> and once they got to that business, they learned that there was no crime at that business. And it was a swatting type call, meaning it was a call to draw our officers to there and away from something else. Or more fittingly, someone else. Investigators dug up the caller's name and pinged the cell phone tower to find the house from which the call was made. They found Williams there, as well as Douglas, who refused to cooperate. Deputies impounded the SUV he was driving on a suspended license. Williams was arraigned Monday and is charged with false report of a felony which carries a four-year penalty. Oh my gosh. Douglas told me that in the grand scheme of things, it's not that big of a deal. It's crazy to me. It's a phone call. If she did, if she did, it's a phone call. The sheriff's office says otherwise. Really, it's unfortunate for the communities because, again, we talk about a, you know, a waste of resources. And, you know, these officers obviously thinking someone is in distress at this building you know, leave this man with no driver's license on the side of the road, which that's a hazard. And now, you know, we're, we're flying, we're moving, we're lights and sirens, you know, no. making people get over to the side of the road so that we can get and assist someone who we believe is in distress. All right. Now, Miss Williams, uh, she has been released on the $5,000 personal bond mm -hmm. and is due back in court the 1st of November. Now, as for her fiance, uh, Mr. Douglas, he will likely or will rather be charged with driving on a suspended license and will be arraigned in mid-November. I got to save my man. Girl, she must be dipping those mammy biscuits in butter and syrup. I don't, you just really slopping down ignorance. I got to save my man, a young mammy.
So sad. Now, the dude has his license suspended. Got a fraud charge. This, I'm assuming, is their baby. And if you listen carefully, uh, they got one on the way. Yeah, one on the way. Where's his loyalty to her? I bet it's her card. Where's his loyalty to her? Because uh, they had this baby here. And what I'm thinking, this baby might be about, what, two? I don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking he looks like a little two-year-old. And one on the way. Where's the loyalty to her? Because uh, I didn't hear wife. Now, of course, you know, being married to this guy is not many benefits. You probably, if you were to marry, end up supporting him. But she, she's already with him. You have a child and one coming. Where's his honor to you? There's no return on the investment of being a mammy. Where is his honor to her? Somebody please tell me. This is why these men are sorry. They can afford to be. They go from their mama to mammy to baby mama mammy. A pattern of women keeping them up. And Dusty's don't think, neither do their women. Oh, it's no big deal. Again, resources. So you see how they can think to save this man? This woman doing something so stupid. Now you got yourself caught up in a jail. Now you both have a felony. Who going to take her a little TT? And then she has another baby. She has a baby on the way. Do you want to have your baby in jail? Why is his license suspended? It could not, that could be a number of reasons. But the man is not responsible. And yet you decide up here, you get pregnant with the first one. He hasn't honored you. Again, it's a one, it's a one, it's all one-sided. The loyalty is one-sided. The dedication is all one-sided. Where is his loyalty to her? I don't care if it if it's a big diamond ring or not. Where is the loyalty? It ain't no big deal. See how he thinks? A lot of people don't understand how life works. And then I thought about it. You know, I had a conversation with a friend of mine. During the pandemic, seeing how hard life is and for the ones who have comfort, let alone somebody who don't have any money, why would you just go and get pregnant by some loser? You know how it's going to turn out. And then a friend of mine said, hey, you listen, uh, a young black man, very intelligent, um, he said, his hypnotic rhythm is hard to break it. Hypnotic rhythm is when you're in an environment and that's all you see, you adapt to it. You know, you, you don't want to venture out. I mean, try to venture out like, like someone uh, like me telling you, hey, venture out. I'm going to tell you right now, hell, I ventured out this weekend. Somebody gave me some info, and guess what? I'm sure as hell going to share it with you. Because I've been there, and I've made, made a little money off of it. And I said, you know what? This is why you have to venture out. Hypnotic rhythm. If you just stay, and for those who are of Christian belief, you know, people talk about the Bible. Well, there's a scripture that says, leave your father's house. I, gee, I wonder why. I wonder why, why would it say that? Sometimes to see different perspective. So she's in Blackistan, in Dustville, where danger lives. And this is what she picked up. No self-worth. Don't think anything to save my man. And girl, is he worth saving? What can he do for you? If she were to get sick, can he go and get a job and take care of those kids and send her home? No. I doubt it. It might be a piece of chick. And this might not be the only child. Might work 40 hours a week and come home with $30. Low performing men. That's what she chose. And so desperate to save him. Baby doll, you need to save yourself. Anything to save her man. So, so I'll just say this in closing. Look at what's happening. How was her life before this, somebody could have got a hold of her before she met this kind of man and showed her, hey, here's what you deserve. Here's what you should look for. 
it's pretty much a wrap for her because that thinking pattern is there and she got how already has one child she's tied to a dust bucket and one on the way unless a miracle happens just get ready for your poverty bus you bought yourself a first class ticket to the poverty bus and poverty d is a very dangerous disease the cure the it's a very difficult cure there i wish there was a pill for it there's no pill you can take for poverty d the lasting effects of poverty d so for her it's a wrap It's, it, it's sad. The thinking pattern is already there. She sops up those mammy biscuits. And I, and then if she has a daughter, what do you think will happen there? So sure, some people can break away from a pattern. But this right here, this is what happens. Sopping up those mammy biscuits. You have no self-worth. So yeah, she must be in love with poverty, poverty D. Has to be. All I have to say is, we'll see how it's going to turn out. This here, sweetie, the drama for her uh, is just beginning. There will be no end to it. There will be no end. So anyway, everybody, thanks for watching this here. When I first saw it, I'm like, there is no way. So think. She can think of that. You can't think to get your birth control on, on tech. You can't think, how hey, I want a better life. How did you grow up? You should want better for your child laziness so this just tells me people do what they want to do you can think to do what you want to do so she can think to do to do to uh, commit a felony but she can't think enough to escape poverty d i'm out